Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Maybe this one will be for you. Incorrigible white sour ale with mango and pineapple. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And today we have a beer from New Holland Brewing. Mm -hmm. And Jessica picked this out and she's going to say it because I'm going to screw it up every single time. Incorrigible Reserve. This is a white sour ale with mango and pineapple, part of the Sour Series. Yep. And this is the 2017. Yes. So this was bottled on... It was kind of like squished. Um, I don't know. This Some year. Yeah. It almost, I don't know, I almost want to say 10, 13, 17, but there's no way. That does no not way. make sense. Just open it. Yeah. Let's drink it. Let's get down to business. So this is a 4.5% ABV, and I'm <clears throat> not sure about the IBUs as they are not listed on untapped, and they're not on the bottle. I'm really excited about this one. Blue Sunday was pretty good. Yep. And... I have to... Hey, you could pour yourself one, you know? It's... We're good. Um, I also have a blue Sunday that we got at New Holland Brewing that is a different color. Okay. And... Keep going. So, I still have to do that one also. Oh, boy. Yeah. I didn't think there was going to be any head on this. So, Hello. obviously, no head. I'm guessing it's because of the sugar. Well, it is looks why... like a mango pineapple juice. Yeah. So, here we go with that. I cannot see through it at all. Um, mango pineapple juice. Um, I would say if you took pineapple juice out of the can and dumped it in a cup, that's probably what it would look like and put a shot of mango mango or like apple juice in there. Your Trap 50 with mango yeah. is what this looks like. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I can't see through it so I can't tell you if there's bubbles or anything like that. So, smell. Ooh. Oh my. Oh my. Like pineapple, fruity, mango is what I smell. Um, I'll take it back, like... Our kids are, you know, being done right now. Stop, right now. Um, so, you know when I turned 21? Do you remember? Let's go way back. No. And we drink at Peacock Ridge. Do you remember that okay. drink that they made for me? The mm. panty dropper? <laughs> With uh, Malibu rum? This is exactly what that smelled like because it was orange juice with um, Malibu okay. coconut rum. This is exactly, this just took me back <laughs> 14 huh. years. Yeah, oh, I'm, man, I'm, it kind of, I'm, I'm kind of getting a sour in there. Sorry, we're back. <laughs> I take a little kid break with yeah. the kids. So, yeah, mango, pineapple, mm -hmm. fruity mm -hmm. is what I smell with a tiny bit of sour underneath, I guess. Okay, taste. Oh, yeah. That's good. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, it's got, like, the tropical fruit. I would say, like, exactly what they say. Mango, pineapple in there, then it's like sour to the back, then gone. Mmm. And like in my mouth, I have mango. Are you buckering? My no. mouth is watering. This is good, and but I don't know. Why do they put it in such big bottles? Why do they put the sour in such big bottles? I don't what know. do I so not you know can about drink this? More? Because when she, well, Sinful was, Blue Sunday is, this, this one is. Why do they make such big bottles? Well, I'm sure that... Well, I guess it, it's up to the brewery to do whatever. Tell me. I want to so know. So you get more. I do want to know that. This is really good. This is really good. This is better than Blue Sunday. Oh, yeah. This is really good. I... What would you give this out of five? Let me like, see. 
you're really getting the mango pineapple fruitiness up front than like sour. I give tones. it a five for for a mango pineapple sour. It's perfect. There's no like I'm not getting an aftertaste. My mouth is watery like it should be with a sour. It's not heavy. It's not happy. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Way to go. This I, one's good. I would actually go with a 4.75 okay. on well, this one. Okay, would you make it better? What I would better? put, I would up the fruitiness. Really? Yep, I would. This is good, and it says um, pairings with roast fish, grilled pork, and brie. But this would totally, this would be delicious with pork. Yeah. This would this is really good. Like there's a little bit in back that says like there's a Brett sour like it's spoiled. Like spoiled fruit. Okay. I get that a touch. I wish oh. that was out of there, but Oh. I wish the Tropicana, the the peach one. That's kind of kind of what this reminds me of. The beer? Yeah. I yeah, like that. It's carved. Um I wish the pineapple mango was turned up just a little. Really? Jesus. I don't... Yeah, and that that Brett Sour, there's like a point where it's like, it's spoiled in my oh, mouth. Oh, see, I think it's delicious. I'm very glad that I found it. I found it at Harding's on Westmidge, believe it or not, just by chance. I didn't even know yeah. that there was another... I mean, I, you know, the, the Blue Sunday said Sour Series, but I didn't know... When they were coming out with the rest of them. Right. So, I mean, in yeah. the back of my mind, I was looking, you know, when I was looking, I was just looking for them. But I found this one. I yeah. like it. That's I don't know, good. you know, truthfully, I wouldn't have finished a 22-ounce bottle of it. I would have. Well, <laughs> your liver is a little bit more, you know, I want to say aged, but tough. He's a tougher liver than mine. You drink um, more than I do, so. There's been... 587 ratings. That's it? And the average is a 4.24. Well, I like it better than everyone else. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. But no, it's good. It's definitely one I would actually buy and drink again. Mm hmm. It's good. I would probably, if I find it again, I'll probably pick yeah. one up just to have it because when our friends come over, some of them do like sours. Um, Amy has to come back over anyways and get her stuff. <laughs> she likes sours, but, um, this is good. If yeah. you can find this, try this. And so, should we get one and, what, let it sit a year? I, I don't is know. Is that what the whole deal is with these reserves? I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to age these or not. Because okay. the weird part, though, is on, on tap, they have, like, a reserve. They have options to choose yeah, from when this year comes up. 2016, mm -hmm. and that's kind of why I haven't drank that first one, that... That sour one that I've got in the fridge yet. Okay. Because we drank the one, mm -hmm. but then we went there. I think, was it, I don't, maybe it was the 2017 version, but we went there and they had another version that's all white and blue, and that's the one I bought. And that yeah. was, but that was like 20 bucks. So it could be that maybe that was 2016's. Yeah. So this, I, I would like this. to see what happens. I I've never aged a sh sour, so I don't know what it would. Do we really have an, a wishful sinful still? Yeah. We kept that on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, that goes yeah. in like the trophy case. Yeah. Should have been with my last summer or my my soft prairie jandy. I drank that last. <laughs> month. It's good. But yeah, I guess let us know. Have you guys aged a sour? I'm not saying they. I know they've been out, but I don't know. If they've been out long enough where somebody said, okay, well, I'm going to age this a year. Like, yeah, what is the taste difference? Yeah, I, well, we have a wishful sinful that's probably six, seven months old now. Yeah, I don't know how old that is. Yeah. We'll so. wait. Maybe we'll wait till my 36th birthday, so we've got a year. <laughs> but this so, was, this was yeah, really good. And, definitely um, one worth picking up. My cousin Lance likes the sours. Okay. And he commented, I put a picture of this on Instagram, and I um, wondered if anyone else has had it, because I know that we, you know, have a group of people that we know that like them. And he said that he had not tried this yet. Yeah. And so None of my either. friends on Untapped have had this. Okay. So, Lance, I would totally recommend it. Yep. And um, it's, yeah, like I said, it's available in Kalamazoo. I don't know if it is where you live, but 
This is cool. good, and we'll finish it. That's a lot. It's a lot of beer. I feel like it's a lot of beer. Mm. It's all right, whatever, right? <laughs> cool. So that'll wrap up this review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also, head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.